Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, Be Set Free from Useless Technology. Be Set Free from Useless Technology. Now, notice I said useless technology, but there is, of course, useful technology. Useful technology will help you get a job. Useful technology will help you finish projects. Useful technology will definitely just move you to make some changes, whatever that might be in your life, okay? But then there is useless technology. There's useless technology that does nothing more than take up your time, okay? Now, it's okay to have useless technology when you don't have other responsibilities. It's okay to have useless technology when you've already done everything you were supposed to do during the day and now you're sitting back and you're relaxing. But even then, you have to put a time limit on it because we still need to eat, we still need to sleep, and we still need to clean our bodies, okay? But some individuals, they don't have their, their time balanced very well. They're taking useless technology and they're putting it as the main focus this is what I want to do I'm going to do it and everybody else can do everything else around me okay now some of you all are believers others are not but you just enjoy listening to the messages but this is the type of message that you need to hear if you have been struggling in terms of getting some things accomplished in your life. You know you're supposed to say, fill out some paperwork, but you've been putting it off. Or you know you're supposed to sit down and meet with someone, but oh, you'll do it whenever. You know you're supposed to make certain phone calls or do research, but instead you are captivated, addicted, if you will, to useless technology. You're looking at apps that aren't very beneficial, they're just entertaining. You're playing video games that they're fun, but really, I mean, are they going to put food on your table? You see, you are doing some things that's sapping up your time. And you know that you have this issue, but you're not willing to do anything much about it except complain or, you know, talk to folks about how much you love something. But then, behind closed doors, you're back to doing it all over again. How do you get free from things like this? How do you prioritize your time? How do you stop taking useless technology and making it useful? Because it is useful to people who believe in it, people who get enjoyment out of it. But there comes a point where you have to say to yourself, this is where it begins. This is where freedom begins from an addiction. You have to say to yourself, this is what I'm doing. It's not right. And I need to do something different. Until you get to that point where you see that what you're doing is causing destruction on your life causing you not to accomplish what you innately want to accomplish, until you get to that place, it's going to be there. The addiction is going to be there. The useless technology and all that comes with it is going to be there. It is not until we look at our situations and say that I shouldn't keep doing this because it is a detriment to my life. I'm not getting anything really out of it. And I know that there's a ton of other things I'm supposed to do. And eventually what is in darkness is going to come out into the light. Everybody is eventually going to see that this individual is not coming to manhood, if you will, or this woman is not, or girl going into womanhood. She's not going into womanhood. No, she is still a child who's playing with children childish things he's still a child playing with childish things the Bible says that when I was a child I spoke like a child but when I became a man I put childish things behind me 
Basically, I'm paraphrasing. But those of you all who know the scripture know. And so when you got individuals who want to hold on to useless technology, when you have people that want to just keep playing with things instead of working on things, then it disrupts the whole atmosphere. It's not just you who gets affected. It's the parent who is paying all the bills. It is the uh, friends who want to communicate with you. Um, it's the assignments that need to be done. It's the job that's calling you. Um, you know, there's so many things and people that are affected when one puts useless things as a priority. I will tell you that I grew up around a lot of television watchers and I didn't really learn who these people were until I was in my thirties. Why was that? Because much of their time, their free time that they had wasn't spent talking to anyone, getting to know folks, touching base with people. No, it was sitting in front of a screen, a device that plugs into a wall, a device that can break, that can, you know, have all sorts of problems associated with it. And that's where much of their time was. And so before you know it, you go from a child to an adult and you still see that same person going through the routine, get off of work, you know, get ready for dinner, sit in front of the TV with their meal, do it all over again tomorrow. And weekends was worse. A lot of these folks were men and they were in front of the television, watching every game that was on TV. It's not a bad thing until it starts robbing you of a relationship with someone. Now it has become a bad thing. The video game isn't a bad thing. I play video games. I've said this in other audio myself. Spend hours playing them. But then when it starts affecting other areas of your life, like uh, hello, income, when it starts affecting a relationship with another human being, I mean, it's time to put the games up or at least put them aside and take care of everything else first, then play the game. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Some folks, they don't want to hear anything about giving up something. All they want to know is how can I keep what I have and not have to do anything else? Well, we don't live in that kind of world. And so if a man wants to eat, he has to work. And nowadays with all of these females out here with very expensive tastes and everybody thinks they're an actress or a, you know, video queen, I mean, they want this, they want that, especially the younger generation. You've got to have money to pay for all of that. And so sitting before a screen is not going to do it for many, many people. Some folks have figured out how to make the money that way. But if you have yet to figure that out, and you haven't given yourself a time limit in terms of figuring that out, somebody's going to figure it out for you. And it's usually going to be that person that you live with, that head of house, okay? The one who is bringing in the money is going to figure everything out for you. Oh, it's obvious you have an addiction to the television. It's obvious that you have an addiction to the video games and so forth. So guess what? I'm going to plan out your future for you. And it's going to go like this. You got X amount of days, weeks, months to leave my house. That's what it's going to boil down to. Whether that's coming from a wife, a husband, a mother, a cousin, an aunt, an uncle, whoever, even a sibling. There's going to be a time limit. And then folks are going to resent that person. Oh, I can't believe her. She's giving me such a hard time. Ah, uh, I can't believe him. Well, they're doing it for good reason. They want 
these individuals to come up out of being a boy and being a man. They want, you know, the young girl who enjoys looking at this screen and that screen to grow up and be a woman and do what you're supposed to do and take care of your responsibilities. Some folks have a job, right? But they're not taking care of the child. The child is being taken care of by somebody else. So you had enough time to stop with the games and all the other useless technology to go get somebody pregnant. But then you get back in front of the television screen or the phone or the tablet or whatever other device and then you take a little break long enough for some work and then you're back in front of the screen again. And meanwhile, who's taking care of the baby? And so there are some individuals that they have drawn the line in the sand and they said, listen, I'm not taking care of your child anymore. You can forget that. You are going to do something. You see? And there's no sense in arguing with the truth. Some folks, they love arguing with the truth. They want to defend the useless technology and they want to fight about the truth. The truth is, is that lazy is lazy. Ignorant is ignorant. You know, people who don't want to do what is right with their time are going to pay sooner or later. And I'd rather for those individuals who are listening to this message to get it this way than to find out the hard way. When the mom or the dad or the relative or whoever roommate is coming in and saying, where's the rent? Okay, you don't have it. Well, get out. You see? Because it's coming. It's coming. Before you know it, oh, you might say for some of you, oh, I got about 5, 10, 15 years from now before I have to deal with that. But you are going to eventually deal with it. But you might as well have a wise mindset now of knowing what your priorities are, putting them into place, and then enjoying the, you know, fruits of your labor, so to speak. So I dedicate this message, of course. I know it sounds like it is directed to young people because, well, it is. But I dedicate this message to my four sons who I know they love. They're useless technology, but sooner or later, they're going to have to grow up and they're going to have to take care of their business. There is much business to be taken care of. And so I pray for all of those individuals who are trying to get their priorities straight. I pray that they will make the time to tend to responsibilities. I pray that they will focus on being productive members of society, people who are going to be able to take care of themselves, people who are going to look beyond useless technology and actually find information that is going to help them in life. I pray these things and I ask that God be with them every step of the way in Jesus name. Thank you so much for taking time out from the useless technology to listen to some wise words. As always, may God bless you.